All right, following up on last week's flex alerts, there were unexpected lessons about how California's power grid works. We heard from many of you asking how renewable energy plays into all of this. And it turns out there's already a statewide plan in the works. Becca Habegger found out how SMUD is approaching it. We've all seen and felt the effects of climate change in California. They become more obvious each year. Devastating droughts and wildfires in part led the board's unanimous decision to issue a climate emergency declaration in 2020. That's Heidi Sanborn, vice president of SPUN's board of directors, whose members challenged the Sacramento Municipal Utility District to take bold steps to reduce carbon emissions. That led to the utility's 2030 zero carbon plan. Trying to eliminate our carbon emissions from our energy supply completely by 2030. Scott Martin, SMUD's chief strategy officer, admits the plan is ambitious. We're probably one of the only utilities in the world that has really set this aggressive open goal. To those who say SMUD is moving too quickly, I say, if not now, when? And if not us, who? SMUD is already more than halfway there. In 2020, the utility says its power supply was more than 60% carbon free. The plan to get totally carbon free in its generation of electricity by 2030 involves retiring two of SMUD's five natural gas power plants and making changes at the other three. Also ramping up investments in clean technology like wind turbines, solar panels, and utility scale batteries to store that renewable energy. Three, two, one. Earlier this year, elected officials and business leaders celebrated the installation of SMUD's first large-scale lithium-ion battery storage units at the utility's Sacramento Power Academy or Hedge Solar Farm just east of Sacramento. We all know that solar and wind energy do not produce power 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The old days of use it or lose it will become a thing of the past when we're able to store clean power for future use. SMUD started with these six battery storage units. You can kind of see in general scale that's four megawatts in these very basic batteries here. SMUD says those four megawatts of electricity from stored solar energy can power 800 homes for two hours. But if you take this to a bigger scale, over the next few years, we're not gonna have just four megawatts like this. SMUD anticipates adding up to 1,100 megawatts of new local short duration battery storage. To store the solar when it's in excess and to use it when we need it when it's not available. So what is this whole effort going to cost SMUD customers? We've committed as part of the plan to not increase rates faster than the rate of inflation. He says the plan will also create new jobs in the energy sector through training programs. We expect to bring thousands of jobs to this region. We want to prepare our communities, especially our under-resourced communities, to take those jobs. Our work will showcase Sacramento as a clean tech region, attracting climate-friendly businesses and creating good paying jobs. SMUD CEO and general manager Paul Lau says he hopes the initiative will help lead in the long run to better air quality as well. Now, California has a goal of getting to 100% clean electricity by 2045 with a benchmark of 60% by 2030. The State Energy Commission says that we're ahead of schedule, claiming that 59% of the state's energy came from renewables just in 2020, almost hitting the benchmark a decade early. And then there's PG&E, California's largest electric utility. They plan on reaching net zero emissions by 2040, which is five years before the state's deadline. And then in light of recent strain on our power grid, it's also worth mentioning that PG&E is working on growing its battery energy storage to 3,300 megawatts, which could be dispatched in times of high demand, exactly like how we saw last week.